Water is our most valuable natural resource. It supports all living things. Life flourishes with it and perishes without it. Free-flowing streams are significant natural resources that serve ecological, recreational, and aesthetic purposes. Especially important are the living habitats that exist within the thousands of flowing waterways which dot the United States and Canada. Every stream, creek, and river is a vital, animated home for the myriad of codependent life forms that exist in them. Although the waterways spread far and wide across the North American continent and their specific life chains vary with the individuality of each setting, the fact that each is a unique and indispensable step in our ecosystem cannot be argued. The particular wildlife involved in streams where this video was produced consisted of typical fauna from central New York State headwaters. Most of these watersheds support trout populations which are products of such fauna and use the stream habitat for reproduction, birth, and life's activities. Stream beds and substrates have stony fluviquins with gravel and large rocks. Lower horizons sometimes have large amounts of silt and clay. It is the disturbance of such sediments such as sand, silt, and clay that causes devastation in these aquacultures. An important distinction must be made between turbidity and sedimentation. Turbidity is a fancy word for muddy water. In itself, turbidity is not a problem for stream wildlife. Sedimentation, the settling of sand, silt, and clay, is a ruinous phenomenon. Sedimat was invented to prevent such damage. Economical and totally biodegradable, sedimat is a 4 foot by 10 foot pad composed of four layers, heavy jute mesh, excelsior, and two plies of burlap. Jute mesh is a loosely woven open mesh fabric used extensively in erosion control. Its purpose in sedimat is to start the entrapment process of sediment that has been disturbed by construction. The rope-like mesh gives it the height to disrupt the current and allow the heavier silt to settle almost immediately after it's been disturbed. The hairy nature of the jute yarns grabs sediment and allows gravity to draw it into the mat. Once the sediment starts to settle, it is trapped by the twisted wood fibers of excelsior, which swell once they've been saturated with water. Excelsior promotes further settling of the trapped sediment down to the tightly woven burlap. Two sheets of burlap act as the bottom covering of the sediment, which rests against the floor of the waterway. Sedimat is lightweight, portable, and can be transported to remote job sites. Since sedimat is totally biodegradable and manufactured using natural fibers, it's best to avoid letting the mats get wet prior to use. They can be packed in waterproof bags if job site storage is unavailable. More importantly, sedimat is easily installed. It's important that the units are placed directly perpendicular to the water flow. It's the disruption of that flow that initiates the sediment trapping process. Equally important is the position of the sediment relating to the construction. It should be installed as close to the trenching or crossing site as is possible without disrupting the construction itself. Sediment is easy to place. Notice how the installation proceeds. The mat is stretched to its 10-foot length and submerged in the waterway. In slow-moving currents, the rocks will hold the mats in place as construction proceeds. Once the sediment is trapped in the mat, the accumulated silt acts as a perfect anchor. It's very important to establish, prior to any construction, just what degree of stream protection must be attained. Every waterway is different and will require analysis based on stream populations, location, and just what level of silt containment must be achieved. Wood stakes are particularly useful in water velocities greater than two and a half feet per second. Stakes are also recommended in situations where the mats will be in place for many days and there is a concern for rapid increases in stream flow due to heavy rains. Sedimats have been left in the water for two weeks without any problems. The number and arrangement of sedimats required will vary depending on stream width, water velocity, water depth, and the composure of the stream bed. The greater likelihood of increased silt disruption and movement necessitates more sedimat involvement. In larger waterways with greater depth and more active water flow, multiple rows of sedimats may be necessary to contain disrupted sediment. When installing a second row of sedimats, it's essential to tuck the upstream edge of the second row under the downstream edge of the first. 
Whenever construction takes place which crosses a waterway, the process disturbs sediments on the stream bed which are carried downstream by the current. Such construction may be culvert installation, pipeline construction, road building, bridge repair, or any other process that would cause open trenching and eventual backfilling procedures. When the finer sediments settle out, they often fill in the small spaces between the larger stream bed rocks, which displaces small fish and invertebrates, and smothers fish eggs, aquatic insects, and larvae. Such environmental damage can eliminate wildlife in the freshwater habitat. Once disturbed, the sediment is pushed along the stream bed by the current and pushed up over the lip of the sediment where the top layer of jute mesh disrupts the water flow. Gravity then takes its course as the silt and sand settle into the mat. Removing the sedimats from the waterway usually requires machinery. If any appreciable sediment has been disturbed during construction, the mats will be too filled with sediment for manual removal. The mats can be removed by folding and lifting with a bucket. Note that upon removal there will be residual leakage of both sediment and turbid water. It must be determined if such leakage is acceptable. If not, then a single course of sedimats should be installed to contain the spillage. In almost all cases, the leakage is insignificant as far as stream damage is concerned. What spills out is turbid water, while the actual sediment is contained in the sediment. Using the hardwood posts as attachment points, the sedimats can also be dragged out of the waterway with a minimum loss of sediment. When the mats are full, you can see sandbars form on top of them. When this happens, it's time to replace the mats or add more downstream. Each sediment is capable of consuming over 500 pounds of sediment. The amount of sediment retained by the sedimats is substantial. The sediment that has been captured would have caused significant damage to the waterway's habitat. Another advantage of the sediment is what happens to them after the work is complete. The mats are placed on the stream bank, which has been graded. After they are rolled into place, they are staked jute side up, seeded and mulched, and left to stabilize and revegetate the bank. The rotting excelsior mixed with sediment makes a superior seed bed for germination of a restoration seed mix. The bottom layer of burlap weakens quickly and grass roots have no difficulty penetrating it to bind with the soil below. Because the sediment is 100% biodegradable, there is no disposal problem. Sediment is an innovative tool to keep our waterways clean and abundant. It is an effective, inexpensive and practical new method to minimize sedimentation impacts to coarse bottom streams from construction activity. Eventually used as a biodegradable bank stabilization device, Sedimat converts trapped sediment from an aquatic pollutant into a fertilizer and seedbed for stream bank restoration. Water is our most valuable natural resource. Help protect it with Sedimat.